Hi there, this is Diecast Channel and in this video we're going to take a look at this Impala. It's a 1967 Chevrolet Impala from the VA team TV show and this car is made in 1 to 18 scale by Ring Light and the Artisan series. So let's unbox this car and take a better look. Impala as we can see it's got those in lines we've seen before in the other car but this is a sedan that one was a hardtop we can see the Impala tail lights which are triple instead of dual just like the ones you find in the Viscane and modified wheels different wheels in the front from the back and the hood scoops we find here the interior is all made in gray with very rich detail as we can see here the dashboard the dashboard and steering wheel made with very nice looking details the seats are good the grill is very well made the bumper guards and the lines there's no there's there are no chromes no trims at all just in the rear there's no logo there are no Impala Chevrolet, bow ties, no logos at all. So this car is pretty much simple, I would say. The rear of the car, as we can see, is very rich in details. The tail lights are very well made and very realistic. There is no emblem here. When all we can see is a simulation and the lock is cast in metal. The bumper is made with perfection. The bumper guards are look pretty correct. The lines of a car look very nice. There are no opening parts, no moving parts at all. The interior, as we can see, looks very rich. Although no doors open, we can see gear lever, steering wheel, the gauges, which are pretty much correct. The handle is cast in metal just like the lock. The pedals are correct. It's gas, brake and parking brake. The front of the car looks very nice. I really like those lines for 1967. 1968 used to have the hood going a little bit more down here and the grill was quite different and the bumper seemed a little bit thicker. We can see the bumper guards are pretty much correct. The iron intakes blinkers, the headlights, grill itself. There's no emblem here. There's supposed to be a Chevrolet emblem here, but it's not here in the car. Just like I said, this car is modified for a TV show. And the hood scoops look pretty realistic. Windshield wipers and windshield, the trim is painted on, but it's very well painted on, really. And the seats look also very realistic. You can see the bench seats. There's just a little simulation of the seat belts. As we look at the bottom, we can see its body and chassis. We can see the chassis, the mufflers, the engine and tranny, the drive shaft, the front and rear axles. Wheels do not steer. The axles are very simple. The mufflers are very simple. The tank is very simple. So this bottom here, this base is very simple really so I, I think this is a this is a part that could be a little bit better considering this line is not a basic line and this model is not exactly a budget model so this part I think really lacks some detail from 0 to 10 I would give this car a 9. I would give it a 9 because it's very well made. The car looks very nice. The lines look very nice. The model looks very nice. But I wouldn't give it a 10 because of its lack of details in the base and especially because there are no opening parts. But still, I think it's better. I'd better have a car with no non-opening parts than having a car with opening parts but not well made. Or poorly made, maybe. 
So I'd like to thank you for all views, for all likes and comments. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel, to give me your thumbs up, to just let me know what you think about this video, what you think about this car. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.